Okay, today we're going to be showing how to glue a German Shepherd's ears with moleskin padding. I use the moleskin plus. This is thinner than the moleskin foam padding, and I'll show you why I use the thinner stuff. Because along with the thin stuff, I also include nasal strips. Now the nasal strips I use have the uh, large, strong adhesive, and it has large, thick plastic strips inside there, which really adds support to the ear. Now with our German Shepherd right here, we have one strong ear and one weak ear that likes to flop over towards the front. So this is the ear we're going to work on. The first thing we want to do is we want to inspect this ear to make sure that there's no redness, no irritation, and you also want to smell it because if it's infected you'll be able to smell, uh, it'll smell like cheese curds or something like that, and you want to make sure that there's nothing inside there that could really irritate the ear. Now we're going to go ahead and clean the ear first. If there's adhesive from the, in the ear from the last time you might have glued it, you want to use some adhesive wipes to remove all that glue out of there so it's all fresh and nice and clean and you get some nice contact to the skin. Now what I use to clean my shepherd's ears is a uh, one part distilled white vinegar and one part uh, rubbing alcohol. We'll just get a little bit of that. We don't want to get it too wet because it's going to take longer for it to dry. But we just want to go in here and we want to clean it. Uh, any dirt, any oil, any residue or anything uh, you don't want to go too far down inside the ear, but you do want to clean it to make sure that we get out any dirt or residue that would keep the moleskin from sticking properly. Okay, All right. now we're clean. We'll let it dry. Uh, one of the things I also like to do when I'm working with my dog's ear, I don't want to accidentally drop anything or glue chunks or something fall down into the ear. So while I'm working on it, I'll take a cotton ball and I will stick it right here, right below the crease to protect the shepherd's ear so nothing falls down inside there and causes any more damage. But if you look, you'll be able to see right here inside this ear, you'll see a crease right here. Now that's the part that we got to get fixed straight. And that's what we're going to be working on. We've got to make sure when we put this moleskin patty in there, it goes well below this crease so it fits it and it holds it nice and tight. Now you can see I've already marked up this moleskin padding to about the approximate size of her ear. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Now the way we're going to cut it is it's going to be kind of like a teardrop. Like an elongated teardrop kind of look. And we're going to hope that this is going to be uh, close enough to the proper size we need. Uh, kind of round off the bottoms. We leave the adhesive backing on here until we get everything exactly the how we want it. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in here and see how it fits. You see I want about a quarter inch uh, from each side of the ear. Okay. Now you can see how nice that fits in there. So that's going to cover that whole ear. All right. The ear should be nice and dry now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and apply our Torbot bonding cement. Now this is a liquid latex that's made to adhere to skin. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and peel this backing off. So, uh, okay. Now we're going to use just a little bit, a thin layer. We don't want to use too much, but a thin layer because this already has adhesive on it. So we just want to add a little bit more strength to it. In fact, my assistant can uh, hold her still right there while I'm working on this. And you can see I'm just going to apply the moleskin padding that we're going to place into the ear. Now, once we apply this, we're going to give it uh, approximately uh, close to one minute for it to dry. Once you get this placed in the ear, you can also uh, come back and touch it up around the corners anywhere where your fingers might touch. As you can see, we're going to leave it right there. Now, I just use the back of a plate or something, something that I can lay it on and that it won't stick to because once this stuff becomes tacky, it's really going to stick. So we're just going to leave it just like that for about one minute. Okay, well, we're going to let this dry right here. Make sure you close this up as quick as possible because air will cause this stuff to dry out and hard. Standing up, check with your vet first. Make sure it's not an ear infection or something that uh, that's out of your control. Okay, now she is approximately uh, nine months old, just a couple days over nine months. Uh, her right ear stands perfectly erect. Uh, when she's alert, her left one flops over. It stands. Now, if you see here, teeth, 
Yes. You can see here, she has fully cut in all her teeth. Okay? So she is ready uh, to have some assistance done to help her ear. Uh, it could be too late already, but I have seen this method right here work on even 10-month-old German Shepherds with fixing their ears and helping them stand correct. Uh, I'm not too worried about hers because uh, she has the shorter ears. She doesn't have the tall, lanky ears of you might see of a Western show line or anything like that. Uh, she has shorter ears, and I think this should help her pretty decent. Okay. Now we're going to apply uh, the moleskin padding. If my and they're just going to hold the ear open just a little bit. Okay. Just so you can fit this in here. This down. I'll hold the ear open just a little bit wider right there. Okay. Not stretching it to where it hurts the dog or anything. But you can place this in there. That's why it's best to have an assistant. Without an assistant, this is virtually impossible. And you can see how I placed it in there. Okay. Make sure there's no wrinkles inside there. Uh, you can. Uh, it's not super adhesive right now. You can pull it off and reattach it. Uh, so you can position it exactly how you want. Okay. So you can see that's exactly where I want it. All right. That's pretty much perfectly centered, and it should cover the entire ear. So we're just gonna press firmly. Okay. We're gonna press firmly on it and hold it in place. And it should start to adhere within a minute or so. Uh, I would say within about uh, three minutes it should be completely adhered. And then we're going to inspect. Now you can see how it's already assisting the ear. You can see now it's up. Even the ear that stands fine is drawn back. But you can see how this one is being assisted. Now, because it's so thin, you can see the ear still bends. You see, that's why I use the thin moleskin padding plus. If you use the foam, it's going to be a little bit too thick. And the ear's not going to have that natural bend to it. You want your ears, the ears of the German Shepherd, when they're erect, you want them up. When they want to pull them back, you want them to pull them back. You want them to still be able to exercise that ear while you're having them glued. If you tape the ears up, uh, you tape them together, or if you uh, put something real thick like pipe insulation inside the ear, then it restricts the ear. It's there. It's done. And they're not going to be getting the exercise that they normally get with their ears working them. Uh, it's something that's natural, and that's why I like this process, because it helps them naturally stand up erect. Okay, now what we're going to be doing. Since we uh, have this firmly placed into the ear now, and it should be well glued in there, we're going to inspect the corners. All right, Niabi, look. Yes. All right, we're going to inspect the corners. You can see right here, uh, it's probably where my fingers were at. It's a little loose, okay? So we're going to touch up those corners or any pieces that might pop up. And during the process, this should last for one week to two weeks. One thing I've noticed is the one part that always pops up first is going to be the bottom down by the crease, okay, because that's where it's going to get the most uh, tug and pull on it. So we're going to put a little bit right there, okay. And you can see right in here, this is going to be the weak spot where it's going to pop loose. So we're going to put a little bit in here, and we're going to let it get tacky. Just let it get tacky for a couple of seconds. Okay. And... and the great thing about this, uh, the Torbot and stuff, if it does start to become loose, normally it just comes right out. You don't see the dog losing a lot of hair. You don't see uh, uh, irritation to the skin. You don't see leftover residue inside the ear like you do with using uh, tear menders glue or anything like that. It comes right out. Uh, normally it falls right out, or if it starts to become loose down here and it starts to get real dirty or it gets real wet, then you can... Uh, begin to pull it out and I've noticed that even when you begin to pull it out it comes right off nice and easily it doesn't pull the hair out okay so if you look real close right here you can see that it's pretty uh, pretty tight right there where I fixed it up now I'm gonna work over here on this spot where it's loose I'm just gonna touch it up over there uh, it's very important to make sure that it's nice and secure in there or your work's gonna be pointless All right, this isn't gonna last very long so if you just make sure you spend a little bit of extra time Just touching up those corners, it's going to last a lot longer. And you can see I got a little bit of glue there. Now I'm going to push it in, and you start to see how it automatically just adheres to the ear. Okay. Now you have to inspect the ear. We're going to install the nasal strips. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to look and see what's the weakest part of my dog's ear. Where's it been over? Is it the tip? Is it the bottom at the crease? Is it the sides? Where's the weakest spots? Okay. Now I know where her weakest spot's at. It's right down here in this crease. And since I know that's where it's at, I'm going to form a triangular 
uh, kind of design with these strips. And these are very strong. Uh, the thing I like about these sticking to the moleskin is it sticks real well. These will not come off if you stick them to the moleskin. They will stay as long as the moleskin stays in the air. And if you get a close look at these, uh, that's what I like about these nasal strips. You can see the thick plastic on there. This really adds a strong support. Uh, that little strip right there in the middle, it adds a strong support. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this upside down to where it's shaped like this. And I'm going to open her ear wide. Okay. And then I'm going to place this in the ear right on that crease. And you can see I'm just going to place it like that to where it's forming right a bottom line across on that crease. It's going to help strengthen that crease up. Okay, now since we want this to really form a strong bowl, Strong bond, we're going to add two more of these. Strong bond, we're going to add two more of these. Normally I only add two, but with her ears, I know where the weak spot's at, and that's what I've got to focus on. So it's going to be that bottom part. Okay. So now we're going to add two more, and we're going to add them vertically inside the ear. And we're going to add one to the left side of the ear. Now you can see how I form it just like that, right on the edge. And then I'm going to take the other one and put it on there opposite the exact same way. And you're going to see a super strong ear here in just a few seconds. Okay. So we rotate it to where the curve is out. And if you want to get a closer look over here, you're going to see me. You turn your head and you There we go. Oh. You're going to see me add it right here. Now this will not come off this moleskin padding. It will stand nice and strong. So if you get a close look, you'll see how I installed it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be pretty. But you're going to see how less cumbersome this is for your German Shepherd. It doesn't have a bunch of tape on its ear. It doesn't have heavy weighted pipe insulation that's going to be falling apart in its ear. It's going to stand nice and strong. If there's any of the... Uh, uh, nasal strips that's hanging off the edges, you just want to trim them up, okay? You can see I'm just going to trim right here. And then you can massage it. Just massage it. Uh, uh, get her used to it. Right, there you go. Shake your head. Okay. Now, she's shaking her head a little bit because I've still got the cotton ball in there. So I'll pull that cotton ball out. And now you can see, you know, the strength in her ear. You can see how natural it looks. It, it doesn't, doesn't weigh the ear down. doesn't affect the ear at all. Uh, it's not going to get sore. Uh, they're not even going to notice it. She's going to notice it right now because she's got some fresh glue in her ear. Okay, So she's going to shake her head a few times and she might even scratch at it a little bit, but it's not going to come out.